In a shocking announcement that's sending ripples through the nation, the Canadian government has just dropped a bombshell all pensioners are set to receive a double payment. But what does this mean for you, for the economy? And for the future of Canada's pension system? Stay tuned as we dive deep into this unprecedented move and its far-reaching implications. Now, let's explore some key points that could be expanded upon in your video or article. The Canadian Pension System and Overview Canada's pension system is renowned worldwide for its robustness and effectiveness. It consists of three main pillars the Canada Pension Plan CPP or Quebec Pension Plan QPP, Old Age Security OAAs, and Individual Savings Through Registered Retirement Savings Plans RSPs and Tax-Free Savings Accounts TFSAS. The CPP is a contributory, earnings-related social insurance program. It's designed to provide a basic level of earnings replacement for eligible contributors and their families in the case of retirement, disability, or death. The plan is funded by equal contributions from employees and employers, as well as self-employed individuals. Old Age Security, on the other hand, is a non-contributory, residence-based program funded from general tax revenues. It provides a basic income to Canadian seniors age 65 and older who meet certain residency requirements. These public pensions are complemented by private savings and employer-sponsored pension plans, creating a multifaceted approach to retirement security. Recent changes and enhancements to the Canadian pension system. In recent years, the Canadian government has implemented several changes to strengthen the pension system and improve retirement outcomes for Canadians. One significant change was the enhancement of the Canada Pension Plan, which began in 2019. This enhancement aims to increase the maximum CPP retirement pension by about 50% for future retirees. The changes are being phased in gradually over a seven-year period, with full implementation expected by 2025. This means that younger workers who contribute to the enhanced CPP for 40 years will see the largest increase in their retirement benefits. Another notable change was the reversal of the previous government's decision to increase the eligibility age for OAS from 65 to 67. The current government maintained the eligibility age at 65, ensuring that seniors can access this crucial support when they need it most. The concept of a double payment and its potential implications. While the idea of a double payment for all pensioners is fictional, it's worth exploring what such a move could theoretically mean and why it's unlikely in reality. A sudden doubling of pension payments would have massive economic implications. It would significantly increase government spending, potentially leading to budget deficits or requiring substantial tax increases to fund. Such a move could also have inflationary effects, as it would suddenly increase the purchasing power of a large segment of the population. Moreover, it could create intergenerational equity issues. Younger workers who are still contributing to the system might feel unfairly burdened if they're required to support such a dramatic increase in payments to current retirees. From a policy perspective, any changes to pension payments are typically implemented gradually to allow for economic adjustment and to ensure the long-term sustainability of the system. Sudden, dramatic changes could destabilize the carefully balanced pension system. The Importance of Pension Sustainability one of the key challenges facing pension systems worldwide, including Canada's, is ensuring long-term sustainability in the face of demographic changes. As the population ages and life expectancy increases, there's growing pressure on pension systems to provide adequate support for longer periods. The sustainability of the Canadian pension system is regularly assessed through actuarial reports. These reports project the system's financial status over a 75-year period, taking into account factors such as demographic trends, economic conditions, and investment returns. The most recent actuarial report on the CPP, released in 2022, indicated that the plan is financially sustainable over the long term at the current contribution rates. However, this doesn't mean the system is immune to challenges or that it won't require adjustments in the future. International Comparisons How Does Canada's Pension System Stack Up? Canada's pension system is often ranked among the best in the world. The Melbourne Mercer Global Pension Index, which compares retirement income systems worldwide, consistently ranks Canada's system highly. In recent years, Canada has typically placed in the top 10 countries globally. Some strengths of the Canadian system include its combination of public and private elements, its coverage of the self-employed through the CPP, and the automatic enrollment feature of the CPP, which ensures broad participation. However, there are always areas for improvement. 
Some experts argue that Canada could do more to encourage private savings or to address the challenges faced by certain groups, such as those with interrupted work histories or lower lifetime earnings. The Role of Private Savings in Retirement Planning While public pensions provide a foundation for retirement income, they're generally not designed to fully replace pre-retirement earnings. This is why private savings play a crucial role in Canada's retirement income system. The government encourages private savings through tax-advantaged accounts like RSPs and TFSAS. RSPs allow individuals to defer taxes on their contributions and investment earnings until withdrawal, typically in retirement when they may be in a lower tax bracket. TFSAS, on the other hand, are funded with after-tax dollars, but all investment earnings and withdrawals are tax-free. Financial literacy and planning are key to making the most of these savings vehicles. Many Canadians underestimate how much they need to save for retirement or struggle to balance current financial needs with long-term savings goals. The impact of economic factors on pension systems. Pension systems don't exist in a vacuum. They're deeply influenced by broader economic factors. Economic growth, inflation rates, interest rates, and stock market performance all play a role in determining the health and sustainability of pension systems. For instance, low interest rates, which have been a feature of many developed economies in recent years, can pose challenges for pension funds. They may struggle to generate the returns needed to meet their long-term obligations without taking on additional risk. Inflation is another critical factor. Pensions that don't keep pace with inflation can lead to a gradual erosion of retirees' purchasing power over time. This is why many pension systems, including Canada's, include some form of indexation to protect against inflation. The changing nature of work and its impact on pensions. The world of work is evolving rapidly, with implications for pension systems. The rise of the gig economy, increased job mobility, and changing career patterns mean that traditional models of pension accrual may not be as well suited to today's workforce. For instance, the CPP's portability, the fact that it follows workers from job to job and includes self employed individuals, is increasingly valuable in a world where many people may change employers multiple times throughout their careers or engage in freelance or contract work. However, challenges remain. Gig workers and those with non traditional employment may struggle to save consistently for retirement. They may also miss out on employer sponsored pension plans, which remain an important part of the retirement savings landscape for many Canadians. Addressing Retirement Income Inequality While Canada's pension system is generally effective, retirement income inequality remains a concern. Factors such as gender, career interruptions often due to caregiving responsibilities, and lifetime earnings can significantly impact an individual's retirement income. For example, women on average tend to have lower CPP benefits than men, largely due to lower average lifetime earnings and more frequent career interruptions. The CPP does include some provisions to address this, such as the Child Rearing Dropout Provision, which excludes periods of low or zero earnings while caring for young children from the benefit calculation. The OAs and Guaranteed Income Supplement GIs play a crucial role in reducing senior poverty, providing a basic income floor for low-income seniors. However, debates continue about whether these programs provide adequate support and how they might be enhanced. The Future of Canada's Pension System as we look to the future, several trends and challenges are likely to shape the evolution of Canada's pension system. Demographic shifts with an aging population, ensuring the sustainability of the pension system will remain a key challenge. Technological advancements technology could play an increasing role in pension administration, investment management, and in helping individuals plan for retirement. Climate change as environmental concerns become more pressing, there's growing interest in how pension funds can incorporate environmental, social, and governance ESG factors into their investment decisions. Changing work patterns the pension system may need to evolve to better accommodate non-traditional work arrangements and career patterns. Financial literacy there's likely to be an ongoing focus on improving Canadians' understanding of the pension system and retirement planning. While the idea of a sudden double payment to all pensioners is fictional, the reality of Canada's pension system is a complex and evolving story. From its multi-pillar structure to recent enhancements, from its high global ranking to ongoing challenges, Canada's approach to providing retirement security offers rich ground for discussion and analysis. As Canadians navigate their own retirement journeys, understanding the intricacies of the pension system becomes increasingly important. Whether it's maximizing CPP benefits, strategically using RSPs and TFCAs, or planning for potential reforms, knowledge is power when it comes to securing a comfortable retirement. 
the pension landscape will undoubtedly continue to evolve in response to demographic, economic, and social changes. By staying informed and engaged, Canadians can help shape a pension system that meets the needs of current and future retirees, ensuring financial security and dignity in retirement for generations to come.